been a while. How are you? Do you want to grab a coffee? Sure. I know this great place on Bathurst. Just south of Bloor on the lower floor of the Center for Social Innovation building. With all of the NGOs in the place, you know it's going to be local, ethical, organic, and a little bit quirky. The decor is reclaimed and a little rustic. There are lots of different spaces. You can tell some people are having business-like meetings and others are having a chat with friends or strangers. The atmosphere may be casual, but they're serious about coffee. I recommend their excellent cortada, a Spanish cappuccino variant. And they have a selection of drip as well as espresso coffees and some pastries, many of which are delivered daily by bicycle. Sounds nice. I like the atmosphere of Brittles too. It's on Young, just north of Bluer. It's a Starbucks now, but it was originally one of Toronto's iconic bookstores. And they've really retained the character of the old store. They've even kept some of the old bookshelves. There's a lot of vintage Toronto in this cafe. The floorboards are made of 200-year-old wood from a wharf on the waterfront. The bar is made with pieces of the old bookshop furniture. And I love the old photos and posters on the wall. I'm not a fan of Starbucks darker roasts, but they've got a new lighter one called Blonde now. That suits my taste. This coffee shop gets a fairly young crowd since it's near the Central Reference Library, but it takes its coffee seriously. It even has a clover brewer. You don't see those in many cafes. Paul, I've enjoyed the more modern experience at the Nespresso Boutique in Yorkville. Behind the enormous glass facade is a large open space designed by the Italian architect Aldo Parisato. Very Euro, but the staff and atmosphere is calm and friendly, even if they are all dressed in black. The menu offers an interesting selection of coffee beverages. This is the Liegeois, ice cream made with your choice of any of the Nespresso capsule flavors. When you're hungry, they have colorful macarons, a selection of pastries, and other little nibbles. If you like a nice head of crema on your Americano or a good stiff froth on your latte, this is the place. I like the old historic places, and there's one right in my neighborhood. It's called the Deneen Coffee Company. It's in a beautiful old building that was once the Deneen Fur Company. It's one of the oldest structures in Toronto, and it's listed as a heritage property. This building stood neglected for many years, so the coffee shop has given it a new life. And with the floor-to-ceiling windows, the Victorian decor, and the summer patio, it's a pleasant place to pass some time. Deneen's is right on Young Street, Toronto's main street, and close to the business district. So you get a mixed crowd of passers-by and business people. Deneen's takes the coffee pretty seriously, too. They have all the popular choices, and done with a little flair. I tried the Americano Misto, which is espresso topped with foamed milk. There are lots of places along College Street. There's uh, Manic at Bathurst. It's a little mecca for coffee hipsters. They have a clover and a senesso machine, as well as a selection of some of the most exotic and expensive coffees in Toronto. There's lots of cafes on every block. It's one after another, from the chains to tiny independents and genuine Italian places from the previous millennium. All the way over to Sicilian ice cream at Montrose, where you can have an affogato, a shot of espresso poured over ice cream. We probably don't have to go that far. I'm also partial to Balzac's. It's right here in the distillery district. We're in the old Goodrum and Warts distillery here, and Balzac's is in the pump house, built around 1895. I love the way they've used the space to create a grand Parisian-style cafe. There's exposed brick, great old posters, and a huge vaudeville chandelier overhead. The bar is just as spectacular, with lots of marble and this amazing big coffee urn. Balzac's doesn't do all the trendiest coffees, but they have some specialties of their own. They're also environmentalists, selling only fair trade coffee, sugar, and cocoa. And they sell a special blend called Atwood, which supports the Peely Island Bird Observatory. This Balzac's location is a hit with tourists. It can get pretty busy, but I like to sneak upstairs and enjoy my coffee in a secret place, this cool little balcony. It's like a window on the golden age. 